Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial I will be telling you about uh, JavaScript on change event for uh, getting the selected value from the drop down select tag inside uh, JavaScript. So basically this is a demo of the application that you are seeing on the screen. So we have a select field here. You can see there are four entries India, South Africa, Australia, New Zealand and we need to, if I refresh it, if you refresh it for the very first time nothing will be displayed so basically if you now select your team you will now see the message you have selected team india if i change the team you can see the team will change you have selected team new zealand so if i change this you will stay you have selected south africa so whatever you whatever item that you select inside the select tag this message will change accordingly so this is all happening due to the on change event which triggers every time that you change this value inside the drop down tag inside uh, html so we will try to look at how to implement this inside html5 and javascript how to write it without using any sort of third party library such as jquery it will all be happening inside native javascript we will look how to attach this on change event inside javascript so this will be a very basic application if you don't know much about HTML and JavaScript this tutorial will be perfect for you so we will be first of all looking how to design this select list and then how to get the value which the user has selected so let's start building this application I have for this purpose I have written a complete blog post on my website codingsiksha.com so if you want to get all the source code you can go to the video description link and copy paste all the source code so the link will be there inside the description of this video so just go to the live stream description to go to the blog post so please hit the like button subscribe the channel as well so now open your text editor and here you need to first of all give a title to this uh, on change event in javascript so basically there are various events out there in javascript somewhat on change is one of them so basically if you just write your list of events in uh, javascript you will get to know about it there is a website w3schools.com it lists out various events out there which is on click on change on load so the list goes on you can read more about it inside their documentation it provides all the events which are there specifically in this video we will talk about on change for the select field so first of all we will design the select field so here we will give it a label that uh, select your team so basically if you now refresh your browser you will now see select your team this is just a label nothing else now we will have our select list so this is a select tag and basically we need to give it an id to it so that we can target in javascript so we will give it an id of teams and inside this we will define the options the first option will be india the next option you can have as many options as you want to australia let's suppose then we will have South Africa and the fourth Pakistan so you can take your own data take your own options it's not mandatory that you want to take these options New Zealand So now basically if you now refresh your browser you will now see there is a select list which contains these five options India, Australia, or South Africa, Pakistan, New Zealand. So now we need to just style it just bring it in the center of the screen so just write some custom style sheet. So here we will target the body. We will change the display to flex and this is not mandatory I am just doing it for just to style it justify content to also center. So this will bring the, at the center of the screen you will see that the select list. So now basically we will now have to have a div where to display whether which item the user has selected. So we will have a div which will have the id of info. So when I change this value nothing will be displayed here you can see that. 
and uh, by default there is and uh, by default you can just uh, put a selected field to whichever entry that you want to so when you load the page for the very first time you will now see india will be selected by default so you can have a option of uh, let's suppose i bring this just give this attribute to select it so what this mean is that if you load this page for the very first time south africa will be selected by default so you can change this to any entry to let's suppose new zealand i give to select it so now if you load the page new zealand will be automatically selected so whenever now you change you can see that so this is meant by selected it is not mandatory that you give this attribute so but is a good practice that you give a default value that the user is selected by default so now we will write the javascript part guys it is very easy but for that you need to attach the event so there are three ways by which you can attach this on change event the very first and the easy method is uh, by using the attribute so there is on change attribute similar to on click so there is also a on change attribute so here you can execute any function that you want to so let's suppose select t so whenever its value is changed automatically this function will execute so we can define this function inside of a javascript which is select t so basically we will have a alert statement you have changed value just passing the message here so now if you test it out in the browser if you change the value you will now see this alert mass alert message printed out on the screen that is you have changed value if you again change it you will again get this message so every time you change this value automatically this event will fire which is on change and this method will execute so this is meant by on change so now we need to get the value which the user has selected which is defined using this value attribute so now to do this we have given this id to it of teams so now it is very easy to get the value so we will define a variable team and we can get the value by document dot get element by id which is teams now to get the value we will use dot value syntax so this will get the value which the user has selected and now we can print this inside uh, info so we have given this id to info here so now to attach it we will use inner html property so every time the value is changed we will define this you have selected team and then we will concatenate the team which the user has selected by the team variable so that's it so now if you reload the application guys you will now see you have selected team india you have selected team new zealand you have selected team pakistan you can see that so you can see that whenever we load the page it is not uh, writing the stuff whichever the team is selected by default so when we change the value then only it display this value you can also fix this by having uh, to execute this function by default whenever you load this so we can selective we can call this function when the load when the page loads for the very first time so this will fix the problem you will see that you have selected team new zealand because of this selected attribute you can change this to any uh, give it to let's suppose south africa you will see that you have selected team south africa so whichever selected attribute will be defined for the option it will be selected by default and after that when you change this automatically this on change will fire and so this is a fully fu functional application guys so there are many a times that you want to build out select fields so you need to get the selected value of the drop down so this is a very first way the second way is slightly more difficult uh, you need to first of all get the reference of the select you can do this like this document dot get element by id we have given the id to teams here you can see that to the select field and then we can attach like this add event listener on change sorry change 
and then we can define the function select team that's it so this is the name of the function which will execute whenever this event fires so this function is defined here so we don't want to change it so if i now reload this this will also work if i change to australia we'll see that so this is the second way by which you can do it so we are now attaching it att attaching this event dynamically we are not lo uh, no longer attaching it using the event on change we are attaching it using add event listener which is a method inside javascript to attach multiple events dynamically inside uh, javascript this can also be click on load so various events are there you can also define this method here itself so no need to define it in a separate function so it is totally up to you how you need to define it so this will also be valid so if you reload this uh, there is some kind of error is there let me see the error here select team so here we are executing this function so for this you can also do like this so oh sorry if you haven't you can see that uh, that function we delete it needs to be there because we are calling it when we load the page so that's why it is not executing it so that function needs to be remaining so you can see that if I change it it will still work so you can also define the function here itself the arrow syntax if you don't want to write the keyword function you can also do like this this will also work and then last way guys how to do this stuff it is very easy uh, last way is very simple document dot get element by id teams and then there is this event on change that's it and then whatever function that you want to do you can also do like this on change directly you write the event not using add event listener so this is the third way so now if you reload this i think it's the most easy way how you can do this you don't need to write the full syntax that is add event listener all that stuff you just define the function and call it that's it and similarly goes for this you can also define the function as it is so just copy paste it like this so this will also work so it, it is totally up to you how you want to do it you can also do it in the e5 syntax like this if you don't want to write function keyword so it is totally up to you guys the, i have uh, shown you all the three methods by which you can attach this on changed in the drop down to get the drop down value of the select tag in javascript so please hit the like button subscribe the channel and also comment on this video how you liked my teaching style and how you need to be having my future videos and uh, i will be seeing you in the next tutorial and the next live stream until then thank you very much